Right, welcome back. We're going to do a bit more work on the FPV case today. So this is how it looks at the moment with the current setup. So we've got the screen, we've got the diversity receiver, we've got the voltage readout, power switch, and then the charge point here. Um, if we take this out, you can have a look at the angled pieces. I've changed them a bit since last time we were here. I've actually put a hole in either side of them now and then bolted through from the edge of the case because the glue wasn't sticking very well just to the smooth side of the case even with it roughed up slightly. But with the battery this is a much bigger surface area so these are these seem to be holding up quite well. I'm just going to leave them how they are at the moment. You can see an old, an old black one up here as well. So we'll just leave it like that and see how it goes at the moment. So today we're going to just do a bit of wiring on the back of the LCD and also start putting some bits together and then we'll see how far we get uh, and I'll decide if it needs to be one or two videos so I'll just set up and we'll get to it. Alright then so this is the back of the board obviously so again we've got the receiver, voltage readout, power switch, charging point, we've got a relay for switching on the system so I'm not, it doesn't really give me a DC rating of this switch so what I'm doing is I'm using this to switch the power and then it's a solid state relay so on the actual coil side it's electronic so it hardly uses any power which is quite good I don't really know if I need that but I'm just putting it anywhere you obviously got the LCD driver board with these sticky standoff pads which are quite good I got them off eBay obviously I got the the driver board for the LCD LED I just double side that straight down. So we're just going to go into. I think we're going to start off by just going straight onto the power tabs here and just soldering direct instead of using a plug. There's no real point in us needing a plug because it's permanent. So I'm just going to put some wires onto here and extend out. So that's what we'll do first. So we'll get set up. So I'm just going to check on the with the old multimeter here on and see where our connection point is for each pin so obviously you don't want to get your polarity mixed up so you want to go on to your, your bell test and then if there's a connection between two points it'll beep so one on the pin I guess it's this back pin here so yeah that's correct and then we'll just check the other one look for the, look for the tab So positive, negative, Not smashing that. I think also here on this tab, you can see it coming to the side here as well. So I think they're both, they're both um, negative. No, it doesn't seem like it, there's only one. So positive and negative, so we'll be able to solder onto there, no problems at all. I'll just switch my soldering iron on. Right, so we're just going to tin these wires here. You've seen me do this before on the quad, but we'll just give it a quick blast anyway. Could probably do my helping hands here just to hold it in position. That's that. Right, so I've just trimmed that down a bit. We're just going to glue, solder this on now. So we'll just warm it up and put a bit on. Put a bit of extra solder on. Add the wire in. What's that? So obviously we'll be powering this from a 12 volt battery but we'll actually be running a bit higher than 12 volts so I've got a little voltage DC to DC voltage regulator here. So you put, uh, I think it's 1 to 30 volts in here and you can regulate it out to whatever you want on this side by changing this little pot I'm just gonna decide where everything's gonna go and then we'll cut the cut these long wires and then bob it on with, with a bit of foam tape decide where it's gonna go so I'm just gonna have a look where it's gonna go and then I'll come back to you So before I connect this up, I just want to set the voltage, so I'm just going to put some wires onto the input side of this little DC to DC converter. 
I'm just going to solder these onto the inside. So we've got plus here. Right, I'll just get the battery and wire it up and just set the voltage on the output to 12 volts that we need. Right, so at the moment on the incoming side, the voltage is 12.24. On the outgoing side, we're at 11.87. So we're just going to adjust the pot up to give us our 12. Eleven point nine six. That seems to be the highest it might be because the batteries has not been charged yet. So I'll uh, charge that and just check it before we uh, power it up for the first time. So that's the output side connected up. Just going to readjust the camera. So this brown bit here, this brown masking tape, is just denoting where the battery is, so I just don't want to put anything there, because that's quite close to the, there's not much, only about a couple of mil between that and the one of the standoffs of the battery, so that's why it's there. Right, I'll just uh, decide where this is going and get back to you. Right, so with this switch, it's got normally open and normally closed, so the top's common, then normally open and normally closed. So that's you can decide what position you want the switch, if you want in to be on or out to be on. And then on top here, you've got 12 volts for a little LED that will come on when you switch it on. So I think that relay that I showed, I'm just gonna do it without that for now, and then I'll measure how much current the whole system draws and just decide if it will be okay, I'm thinking it'll be okay, so that's why I'm not going to bother with the relay. So now I'm just going to solder my wires onto the common and then the outcoming side, the switched side. So with the battery voltage connection, you've got black, red, and white. So you black and you're ready your power, which you can do uh, not to thirty, uh, not five to thirty volts and the white wire is if you're going above 100 if you want to check up to 100 volts but obviously I'm only doing 12 volts so I can just wire them two together right everything was getting a bit busy trying to connect everything to this switch so what I decided to do was to start again and just change it up a bit so I'll just give a quick run through of what I've done so these two wires here are coming from the battery they go into the battery charging point then one wire goes to the ground of the LED then comes back across to the ground power distribution board here that I've made just out of a bit of circuit board then you've got the plus voltage going in to the switch coming out of the switch going to the other side of the LED for the for the switch light and then coming to the ground uh, plus volts of the power distribution board then obviously that goes in into the step down converter on the right hand side same with the ground and then back into the board. Then we've just got another la uh, plus and minus going to power the diversity receiver and then both the white and the red so the sense and the power go to plus volts and then just a ground, the ground connects onto the ground side of the power distribution board. So this is just a little distribution board, it's switched, it's only on the switch side to keep it as safe as possible. So that should be okay. Looks put quite far, so worked far, okay so far. So I'll just flip it over and just show you the result. And uh, I think I'll decide what I'm doing with all the all the wires and the little infrared receiver. See where that's going to go, and I'll put another video up about that. So I'll just flip it over and switch it on. So here it is. Power on, power on the receiver, and power on the screen. You 
you can just watch the voltage drop when the backlight comes on the screen because this battery hasn't been charged properly yet. So that's it. There you go. So we'll see you in the next video where I've neatened everything up and it should be inside the case by then. So thanks for watching and come back again for the next episode.